Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about postural drainage. Definition: Chest physiotherapy is a group of therapy for mobilizing pulmonary secretions. These therapies include chest percussion, vibration, shaking, and postural drainage. Chest physiotherapy is followed by productive coughing of a patient who has decreased ability of cough. This is especially helpful for the patient with large amount of secretion or ineffective cough. Indication: Cystic fibrosis, bronchiectasis, atelectasis, lung abscess, pneumonia. Contraindication: Increased intracranial pressure, unstable head and neck injury, active hemorrhage or hemoptysis, recent spinal injury, rib fracture, flail chest, uncontrolled hypertension, thoracic surgery. Techniques: Chest physiotherapy consists of the following techniques: percussion. clapping or cupping vibration shaking postural drainage percussion or clapping chest percussion involves rhythmically clapping on the chest wall over the area being drained to force secretion into large airways for expectoration position the hand in such a way that fingers and thumb touch the chest wall and the hands are cupped perform chest percussion by vigorously striking the chest wall alternatively with cupped hands The procedure should produce a hollow sound and should not be painful. Perform percussion over a single layer of clothing, not over buttons or zips. Percussion is contraindicated in patients with bleeding disorders, osteoporosis, fractured ribs and open wounds and surgery. Don't percuss over the spine, sternum, stomach or lower ribs as trauma can occur to spleen, liver or kidney. Typically each area is percussed for 30 to 60 seconds several times a day. If the patient has tenacious secretion, the area must be percussed for 3 to 5 minutes several times a day. Vibration it is a gentle shaking pressure applied to the chest wall to move secretions into large airways the nurse uses rhythmical contraction and relaxation of arms and shoulder muscles over the patient's chest during vibration place your flat hand firmly against the chest wall on the appropriate lung segment to be drained vibrate the chest wall as the patient exhales slowly through the pursed lips After each vibration encourage the patient to cough and expectorate secretion into the sputum container shaking it is more vigorous form of vibration applied during exhalation using an intermittent bouncing maneuver coupled with wide movements of the therapist hand the therapist thumbs are locked together the open hands are directly placed over the patient's skin and fingers are wrapped around the chest wall the therapist simultaneously compress and shakes the chest wall postural drainage it is a technique in which different positions are assumed to facilitate the draining of the secretion from the bronchial airways gravity helps to move the secretion to the trachea to be coughed up easily the goal of postural drainage is to help drain mucus from the affected lobes into the large airways of the lungs so it can be coughed up more readily all the patients do not require postural drainage for all the lung segments so the procedure must be done on the clinical findings in postural drainage the person is tilted or propped at an angle to help drain secretion from the lungs the lower lobes requires drainage most frequently because upper lobes drain by gravity before postural drainage the patient may be given bronchodilator medication or nebulization therapy to loosen secretion postural drainage treatment is scheduled two or three times daily depending upon degree of lung congestion the best time include before breakfast before lunch in late afternoon and before bedtime it is best to avoid postural drainage after meals because it can induce vomiting help the patient assume the appropriate position based on the lung field they require to drain prepare the patient loosen the tight or bulky clothing it is not necessary to expose the skin have a sputum cup or tissues sufficient pillow for positioning teach the patient deep breathing and cough prior to the beginning of the postural drainage make adjustment of tubes and wires such as chest tubes ecg wires or catheter so they remain clear during position treatment sequence determine the segment of the lung which is to be drained check the patient's vital signs 
and the breath sound. Correct position is given to the patient and patient should be comfortable. Maintain the position for 5 to 10 minutes if the patient can tolerate it. Ask the patient to breathe deeply in a relaxed manner during drainage but do not allow the patient to hyperventilate or become short of breath. Apply the percussion over the segment which is to be drained and the patient should be in correct position. Ask the patient to cough. If the patient does not cough spontaneously, instruct the patient to take several deep breaths or huff several times. This may help to elicit a cough. If the patient's cough is not productive after 5 to 10 minutes of positioning, go on to the next position. Secretion that have been mobilized during a treatment may not be coughed up by the patient until 30 minutes or 1 hour after treatment. The duration of treatment should not exceed 45 to 60 minutes as the procedure is quite fatigue for the patient. Concluding a treatment, have the patient sit up slowly and rest for a short after the treatment. Watch for signs of postural hypotension when the patient rises from a supine position or from head down position to sitting. Advise the patient that even if the cuff was not productive during treatment, it may be productive a short while after treatment. Evaluate the effectiveness of the treatment by reassessing breath sounds. Note the type, color, consistency and the amount of secretion produced. Check the patient's vital signs after treatment and note how patient tolerate the treatment. Criteria for discontinuing the postural drainage If the chest radiography is relatively clear If the patient is afebrile for 24 to 48 hours if the normal or near normal breath sounds are heard with the auscultation. If the patient is on a regular home program. Modified postural drainage. Some patients who require postural drainage cannot assume or cannot tolerate the positions optimal for postural drainage. For example, a patient with conjunctive heart failure may exhibit indications of orthopnea means shortness of breathing while lying flat. After neurosurgery, a patient may not be allowed to assume a head down position because this position causes increased intracranial pressure. After thoracic surgery, a patient may have chest tubes and monitoring wires that limit the positioning. Under these circumstances, and other positioning due during postural drainage must be modified. The positions in which postural drainage is undertaken are modified consistent with the patient's medical or surgical problems. This compromise, although not ideal, is better than not administrating postural drainage at all. Home program of postural drainage. Postural drainage may have to be carried out on a regular basis at home for the patients with chronic lung disease. Patients need to be shown how to position themselves using inexpensive aids. An adult patient may place pillow over a hard wedge or a stacks of newspaper to achieve a desired head down position in bed. A patient can also lean the chest over the edge of the bed, resting with the arms on a chair or stool. A child can be positioned on an ironing board, propped up against a sofa or heavy chair. A family member often must be taught proper positioning, percussion or shaking techniques and precautions to assist the patient. Right and left upper lobes. For anterior apical segment, percussion is applied directly under the clavicle. Patient position is sitting position as you can see in this diagram. Posterior apical segments, patient position is sitting with head down position. Percussion is applied above the scapula. Your fingers curve over the top of the shoulder. Anterior apical segments, patient position is supine with pillow under the head and under the knee. Percussion is applied bilaterally, directly over the nipple or just above the breast. Upper low posterior segment, left side, patient lies one quarter turn from prone and rest on right side. Head and shoulder are elevated 45 degree or approximately 18 inches. Pillows are used, pillow is placed under the head and on side of the patient. Percussion is applied directly over the left scapula. Upper low posterior segment right side. Patient lies one quarter turn from prone and rest on left side. Pillow is used under the head of the patient and on the side of the patient. Percussion is applied directly over the right scapula. Lingula in left side. Patient lies one quarter turn from supine on the right side and supported with pillow. Pillows are placed under the head on the side of the patient and under the knee. Patient is kept in 30 degree head down position. Percussion is applied just under under the left breast, middle lobe in right side, patient lies one quarter turn from supine on left side, supported with pillows behind the back. 
Pillows are kept under the head, on the side of the patient and under the knee. Patient lies in 30 degree head down position. Percussion is applied under the right breast, right and left lower lobes. Anterior segment. Patient lies in supine. Pillow is under the head and under the knee. Patient is in 45 degree of head down position. Percussion is applied bilaterally over the lower portion of the ribs. Posterior segments. Patient lies prone with a pillow under abdomen. Patient is in 45 degree of head down position. Percussion is applied bilaterally over the lower portion of the ribs. Lateral segment. Left and right. Patient lies on right or left side. Patient is in 45 degree of head down position. Pillow is under the head and on the side of the patient. Percussion is applied over the lower lateral aspect of the right or the left ribcage. Superior segment. Patient lies in prone with pillow under the abdomen. Percussion is applied bilaterally directly below the scapula.